Hello, this is Sarah Brosh. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to make sure to get some uh, cleavage in my videos, but I don't want it to be too X-rated, but I think this is just, just the right amount. But anyway, so I want to do a quick video. I'm doing a bunch of quick videos tonight before I go to bed, but I wanted to do a quick video about Roxanne Gay and Tressie McMillan Cotton. Um, so they're both uh, columnists for the New York Times, Woke Fake News Press New York Times, and they're both in academia. Um, and Tressie McMillan Cotton is at UNC Chapel Hill and uh, Roxanne Gay is at Rutgers. And so basically they are both evil. They're both woke DEI and CRT profs. They are both anti-white racists. They are both huge perpetrators of the BLM living while black race hoax, including the witch hunt at Yale and the Central Park living while black race hoax with Amy Cooper and, and the city by Karen. And basically there is no Karen Gone Wild video or BLM living while black race hoax that these two woke DEI and CRT industry moral monsters have not perpetrated to smear Trump and for black trauma moral outrage industry money, they are both the epitome of anti-white racist evil. They are completely vile human beings. Um, they're disgusting. They're both, um, they're moral monsters. They need to be fired. Uh, from their jobs, their jobs at Woke Fake News Press New York Times, which we know isn't going to happen, and also their jobs in, in academia, at Rutgers, and at UNC Chapel Hill. They need to be fired. They need to basically resign from public life and just in abject shame after they you know, pay restitution to me and to Amy Cooper and to all of the Karens and the innocent nobodies whose lives they destroyed. Um, and they need to just basically SDFU and go away and take us all out of their misery. Um, so they're completely evil and they basically have adopted the uh, Joy Reid of MSNBC MO of just, you know, following Trump's amazing election victory. We're so excited. We're so happy. We love Trump. We love Vance. We're so happy. We're so happy that it makes uh, woke DEI and CRT industry moral monsters like Tressie McMillan Cotton and uh, Roxanne Gay drives them crazy. Um, we're so happy about that. We're so thrilled. And so they basically are adopting the MO of, uh, of Joy Reid of MSNBC, and they're just going to go around and call people racist even harder. Um, and so they are just committed to their, um, you know, to the completely bogus notion that uh, Trump won, Trump and Vance won because of anti-Black racism. Um, and so they're just completely evil. And uh, and Tressie McMillan Cotton was just on um, The Daily Show saying this, saying that, you know, the Democrats should, you know, uh, employ, you know, identity politics even, politics even more because, of course, that worked so great last time, right? I mean, they just don't get it. They're so, they're just, I don't want to say they're, stupid but it's just that they're just I don't think that I think they're just evil I think they're just evil they committed to the BLM living while black race hoax to for for money and to smear Trump and they committed to the woke DEI and CRT industry and the fake news press and they just committed to this and so they're just gonna run with it until kingdom come and I actually feel like you know I'm you know, uh, being kind to them by just assuming that they're evil and not completely stupid. Uh, of course, you would have to be either completely evil or completely stupid to push any of these race hoaxes, obvious race hoaxes. So, uh, Tressie McMillan Cottom, she built her entire career on my back. If she doesn't push the witch hunt at Yale and try to get me killed, 
um, including in her ridiculous Living While Black Race hoax book, Thick. If she doesn't do that, she's not a columnist for New York Times. She doesn't get the MacArthur Foundation Genius Grant. She has no career. She has no career without the witch hunt at Yale and the BLM Living While Black Race hoax. And truly, neither does Roxane Gay because that has been her entire career for the past six plus years. So Roxane Gay uh, wrote a New York Times article about me. Um, she also uh, threatened to call the Yale police on me uh, because I asked her to watch a video and apologize to me for defaming me in the New York Times. She, on on what was then Jack Dorsey Twitter, she was all over Jack Dorsey Twitter, saying that I was a white supremacist um, and saying that, you know, that I was this evil racist and the, the Yale Nazi. And so she actually bought two guns um, to protect herself from white supremacists, including me, um, an innocent nobody, human civil rights attorney and, and Yale grad student and also Christina Hoff Summers. So she bought two guns to protect herself against me and Christina Hoff Summers because we are white supremacists. And so she explicitly said this. And so now she just wrote this asinine essay. Um, well, she wrote and just wrote an asinine essay in the New York Times about how you know Trump won because the U.S. is racist, irredeemably racist, and she's you know disgusted by how racist um, the U.S. is. And then she wrote also wrote recently uh, before Trump won, she wrote this asinine essay about um, why she bought two guns and she lied in it. And she tried to play it off like she bought these two guns because she was getting all of these death threats. And so at the time that she bought the guns and she also tried to say it was because of her brother who had died um, because he loved guns and that's why she bought the guns. So at the time that she bought the guns, she was very explicit. And she was very explicit on her ridiculous asinine podcast, Here to Slay with Dressy McMillan Cotton. And she said that she bought the guns to protect herself from white supremacists. And at that exact time, she was calling me a white supremacist and she was calling Christina Hoff Summers a white, su white supremacist. So, and she was very explicit about that. And so um, I just wanted to, I don't want this video to get too long. I have so much to say about this. I have so much to say about these two, you know, bigots and moral monsters. Um, but I think I might, I might stop there for now, but I just want to make something really, really clear to uh, Tressie McMillan Cottom and also to Roxane Gay. The reason why Americans voted for Trump and he has a mandate now to destroy the woke DEI and CRT industry. The reason why Americans voted for Trump and Vance, and they also won the House, they won the Senate, they won the popular vote, they won the Electoral College in a landslide. They have a mandate to destroy the woke DEI and CRT industry is because the two of you bigots and anti-white racists and frauds and liars perpetrated hoax after hoax upon the U.S. public, including the BLM Living While Black Race hoax. American people are not stupid. You destroyed race relations and policing in the U.S. and this is why we're living in a state of lawlessness. And the American people are not stupid and they don't like being lied to and they watched you do this. They watched you do this to smear Trump. And the American people aren't stupid and they don't like being lied to. And that's why they voted for Trump and Vance. So you, if you're unhappy, if you're miserable about Trump and Vance being elected, reelected to the White House, and thank God, thank God they were, you have no one to blame but yourselves. You have no one to blame but yourselves. Okay? That is why the U.S. voted for Trump and Vance. Because they want to stop 
the Kamala crime wave. They want secure borders. They want law and order. They want good paying jobs. They want to be able to feed their families good food. They want Israel protected. They don't want a world on fire. If Trump were still in office, Israel would not have been attacked. Russia would not have invaded Ukraine. And I'm worried about China invading Taiwan. And that's not going to happen if now that Trump is back. All, already, everybody is behaving themselves so much better now because they know there's a new sheriff in town. They know Trump is back and they're afraid of him. Peace through strength. Peace through strength. Weak men make for bad times. And nothing would have been more catastrophic for the entire free will world, especially for Israel, than for Kamala Harris to be president. But anyway, I'm going to stop there. I have so much more to say about these two moral monsters. Um, that I have so much to say about them. Um, but uh, I, I'm going to stop there for now. I want to do a couple more videos before I go to bed tonight. But I just love you all so much. And I'm so happy that Trump and Vance won. I'm so happy. And I'm so happy that they're going to destroy the woke DEI and CRT industry, and I will talk to you later. Okay, have a great night, everybody. Bye.